Hell guys. <clears throat> Someone said, oh, he's complaining about my opinion on Mario Galaxy. So, you know what? I'm going to make a video talking about Mario Galaxy. Even though I saw him be feeding this troll because, um, the artist like Neckbeard who probably does nothing on the internet like me and several other YouTubers. All they do is spend their time on the internet, complain about stuff, that's what I do. Um, but today we're talking about my opinion on Mario Galaxy. We'll be going over the bad stuff and the good parts, yes. Mario Galaxy is not a bad game, of course. The only bad Mario games is some um, stuff like the CDI games and some of the spin-offs that nobody likes. And Mario Kart Super Circuit, that game is just terrible, but Mario Kart Super Circuit is just one of the worst Mario Kart games of all time. Easily is just not ugh. Like it's very disappointing. Like we're Super Mario Kart, yeah, that's pretty great, um, compared to Mario Circuit. It's basically, um, 80 million times worse, like Super Mario, okay, Super Mario Circuit, I'll talk about a different day. But, Mario Galaxy is not, I don't like Mario Galaxy 2, because they stripped all the open world things from the first game. That's why I don't like Mario Galaxy 2, that's why I don't like that game. When you strip all the good things, when you strip over away the open world, and just have it just a boring standard world system, kind removes all the, um, feels, the massiveness of Mario Galaxy. You're just in this, um, sip. No, I don't want to go on Walmart. I don't want to buy Mario Galaxy 2. And that's the one I played more, Mario Galaxy 2. The only improvement it had, it, the only thing they did was add Yoshi. It was more of the same game. It was just a slightly altered version of Mario Galaxy. Mario Galaxy is way better. Um, Mario Galaxy 1. Then let's go over the only bad thing about Mario Galaxy 1. The motion controls. I don't think it's an A tier Mario game. I would consider it a B tier brand Mario game, which is good, but not not mediocre. It's definitely better than some of the 2D Mario games. Some um, better than Mario 3D Land. Um, at least uh, like. And like the graphics, for the graphics are pretty good in this game, okay? For a Wii game, the graphics, if you give it like a, if you give it an HD remaster, the graphics will work basically beyond phenomenal. The graphics are great in this game. Pretty, it's basically one of the best looking Wii games besides Smash Bros. It's the second best looking Wii game, of course, besides Smash Brothers Brawl. I still think Smash Bros. Brawl has the second best graphics of any Smash Bros. game. Only behind, um, Smash Ultimate, because I like Smash Bros. Semi-realistic looking graphics. Like, Mario's, like, Mario's pants look realistic. Like, you see the, see they look more realistic, or the characters look more realistic. Like, the clothes on them, it's less cartoony looking. Um, I like Smash Bros. I just like Smash Bros. graphics. Only Smash Ultimate has better graphics. It's just because it's Smash Ultimate. And of course, in the 3D Mario games, it's one of my... It's, it will be definitely higher than Mario 3D Land, Mario 3D World, and Mario Galaxy 2, because there isn't much for Mario 3D games. It will be behind Mario 64, Mario Odyssey, which is easily one of the best Mario games ever made, and Mario Sunshine, which is... And it's kind of like how people have bias towards Mario 64. Uh, Mario 64 and 64 DS are the same game, so Mario um, Sunshine kind of biased because I used to play that game a ton when I was a kid. I played Mario 64 a lot on my DS, so that'll be at number two. Um, then it'll be followed by Mario Odyssey. Uh, Mario Odyssey is pretty cool. I just love the hack and mechanic and all that stuff. It's pretty cool. Probably play that game soon again. Um, Mario Galaxy 2. Um, don't like Mario Galaxy 2. I never did. I played it. I played for like two worlds, it's like, this is like, one of the worst Mario games, like, the controls are even worse than Mario Galaxy 2. Mario Galaxy also has, um, the controls are not, eh. the controls are, are good when it, uh, when it comes, unless it comes to a certain part, which is the most controls. The most controls is what I hate about the Wii. The Wii is my least favorite Nintendo console that is not called the Virtual Boy. Because, of course, we have to not forget the Virtual Boy existed. It's my second least favorite Nintendo console. B 
besides the photo boy, because the photo boy is just a pile of trash. Anyone who does not say that is just... Either you just like your eyes holding, or you just don't understand why people hate the virtual boy. Virtual boy literally hurts your eyes. I hate the Wii because it took away all conventional forms. And the game would be better if I could play with a GameCube controller. That's basically my biggest complaint, is I can't play the game with a normal controller. You can call me salty all you want, but that's basically it. Um, I don't know if you can play... <clears throat> I don't know if there is a way of pro controller. I thought there was this Wii U pro controller, and I... Though I didn't have my Galaxy when I had the Wii U, um, they will probably still told you to play with the Wii mode because that's the only way to play with Mario Galaxy, um, like, if they release Mario Galaxy 1 and 2, um, for the Switch, I'll probably play them again, because the Switch, you can play with most of the controls in land without missing most of the controls, okay? Even games like Rex Go. You you're not forced to play with most of the controls. You can play with the handheld mode and play like a normal and play a game normally. Like Mario Odyssey. Mario Odyssey, if you play the game without Pro Pro controller, Switch Pro controller and or hand or not handheld, you have to play you can play with most of the controls. But Mario Odyssey, the difference is Mario Odyssey, you can play the game without most of the controls. That's the thing. Mario Galaxy. You can play, you have to play it with both the controls. And once somebody can tell me in the comments, you can play this game without both the controls, please do. If you found a way, besides hacking the console, of course, to play without both the controls, to play a game, play a game normally like every other game, that's why like my, that's why the only games I played on the Wii was Mario Kart Wii, cause I could play with the GameCube controller, and Smash Brothers, cause I could play with the GameCube controller. That's the, oh. Like, a lot of the Wii games are pretty cool. Twilight Princess was pretty cool. And that game was pretty cool. Um, I also had one of the worst Sonic games too, Sonic and the Secret Wings. That game is just terrible. Sonic and the Secret Wings is how not, is definitely how not to do more to controls. Now let's talk about more good things. They introduced Rose Arena. Rose Arena is a pretty cool character. Some people hate her like Mario Tapoma, but I don't care about her. I was angry when she was reviewed for Smash Brothers, but I kind of gotten over it, um, because I wanted Bowser Jr. I fought, and of course, I thought that, oh, they can only add up to one Mario character in, a, in the game, and Bowser Jr. eventually be, ended up being in the game, he's one of the worst characters in the game anyways. I never played as Rosalind, but I don't, I don't hate her, um, Rosalind definitely does have a haters, but I don't hate Rosalind. The soundtrack, of course, is great, um, on my 10 hour videos, I might upload Mario Galaxy songs too. Um, so I like some of the songs in Mario Galaxy, especially in 2. Um, but it's just don't, but, and the story is basically, it's basically the same story in every Mario games. Mario games stories are non factors, okay? You can't, you can't, if you count a story against every Mario game, then every Mario game would have the bad, a bad story because they're all the same story. Besides some of the spin-off games like Paper Mario, The Fowls in Your Door, and the Mario and Luigi and Bowser's Inside Story, Peter gets kidnapped, Mario has to go through a bunch of worlds to, um, take Pete. And now I'll tell you about Mario, why I don't like Mario Galaxy 2. Mario Galaxy 2 is restrictive and not open world. Mario Galaxy is, like, you can walk around the observatory and all that stuff, it's more open world. Mario Galaxy 2 is like the 3D Wan 3D World games. It's not open world. It's not open world at all. You see, it's like you go on a ship, like, and go to different planets. That it doesn't give you the same feeling of you unlocking a world and walking up to it and going towards it. Mario Sunshine had an open world, and Mario Odyssey had a semi-open world. Okay, there's a difference between Mario Galaxy 2 and Mario Odyssey. Mario Odyssey, um, the whole point of that game was you have to power up your sip, which was powered by your hat, which was Cappy's sip, which you have to say it's Bowser on a sip because that's how it is. But Mario, it's a whole entire world, okay? Mario Galaxy using the styles of Brass to other plants made by Rosalina, which was pretty good, but then you gotta realize the whole world. So every kingdom is their own world. It's not like this linear course like in Mario Galaxy 2. These kingdoms are these whole worlds you can explore and do whatever you want as long as, long as the game allows it. 
So, that's why Mario Odyssey is better than Mario Galaxy. Mario Odyssey still doesn't want you to travel between worlds, like in, uh, like in Breath of the Wild. Um, and that's basically it. Mario Galaxy, um, is not, is easily my least favorite of the main Mario, 3D Mario games. That's not 3D Land, 3D World, and Mario Galaxy 2. Of course, if you're doing 3D Land and 3D World, those are my least favorite Mario, 3D Mario games by far. 3D Land was cool for a 3DS game, but you realize the game was kind of bland and stuff. It's kind of linear, like the 2D Mario games. And the 3D Mario games to be open world. They should not be these um, boring 2D games. No, these boring. Um, 3D Mario like should be like Mario 64. It's more of an open world. Mario 64, Mario Sunshine are perfect examples how to do a 3D Mario game, and I would why Nintendo does not go back to those games and do it like how those games did it, because those two games are perfect examples of 3D Mario games. Mario Galaxy kind of had it, but kind of kept the same formula, but then since Mario Galaxy 2, Nintendo has just made it lazy and stuff. Odyssey is a step forward, but they still have it well, but Odyssey is like different between from Mario Galaxy 2. Odyssey, of course, he can travel, fade, uh, to different kingdoms, but the different kingdoms have their own uniqueness to them. Their, their own open worlds, you can go to other parts of the kingdoms. So it's kind of like, it's like the Mario, like Mario Odyssey is kind of like you have a hub world, but you don't have a hub world in Mario Odyssey, you have to go on the, um, hat, pay the ship and go to other worlds. But it's still more open world in Mario Galaxy 2. Mario Galaxy 2 is not open world, and people who still say it's open world, um, it's linear. Mario Galaxy 2 is like 3D Land and 3D World. It's open world. The only improvement they added Yoshi and Yoshi is pretty cool. Oh yeah, it was not about the what and of course we saved the worst part of Mario Galaxy for last. That 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 stupid spring suit. The bane of everyone's existence. That's easily the worst part of Mario Galaxy by far. Thank God they never brought back the bring spring suit in any future Mario game. Thank God.